My name is Ed Triplett, and I am working on the art and architecture of Iberian military orders. In the 12th and 13th century, these were people who have been described as warrior monks, and I'm looking at the sort of hybrid architecture that they uh, produced. So something between a fortress and a monastery, sometimes combined, a lot of times just a traditional fortress. I ran into a problem that I really did need uh, new viewpoints of my subject. I needed to get uh, the camera above the fortress and, and the best way that I could, could do it um, was to use a kite. Um, and I talked to um, Kelly Johnson, Chris Gist at the, at the library in the Scholar's Lab and they had experience flying kites and attaching cameras to it. Um, I'd seen them actually even using a balloon before. I didn't feel very confident flying out to Spain with a kite I bought at Amazon and just hoping that pictures would come out at the end. I had to practice and I went out and I talked to uh, Chris and Kelly and we went up to Darton Park and figured out how to fly a kite. I had the, the apparatus called the pick that was going to attach the camera to the kite line. We practiced how to get the kite up, how to get it down again. Um, these are things that I did not know how to do. No one else had taken these kinds of pictures of my subject and no one else would, would have had the opportunity to sew them into 3D graphics in the way that I did unless they used the technology that I did, which was harnessing the wind. When this actually pulled off, when I was in Spain with the camera and everything, uh, my wife was with me and she said I was just speaking in tongues. It was a, it was a great, great moment. Um, and without actually practicing this thing in dart and toe, I don't think I would have had the guts to try it in the first place. And really without the, the library's help, um, I don't, I, I really can't even conceive of the direction of my dissertation would have gone, really. Um, and so that you can get re-energized by something very different and very new. Um, and without the people in the scholars lab, in the library in general, I don't think I would have had some of those moments. That's something I think was very valuable.